Hello everybody, welcome back. Time for us to take on Moggit. This is going to be the entrance to Stormvale. I want to keep this at 20 minutes, but this place is massive. Um, and is much more intricate than a lot of the Legacy Dungeons, in my opinion. Apart from maybe the Halig Tree. Uh, so we'll call this the entrance to the Stormvale Castle. And as you can see, on the way in, you'll have a cooperator we can use right here. He's very helpful for this. I don't see why you wouldn't bring him in. And because it's an NPC summon, we should still be able to summon Lutal as well. So this is basically going to be mega easy. So long as we can avoid his attacks, which we have Bloodhound Step 4 and um, all that good stuff. This should be this should be pretty easy. Our biggest danger is actually going to be falling off the ledges. So just bear that in mind. Let's skip all this. Um, so yeah, we're just going to... I'm going to throw one set of rocks in. Shouldn't really have done that. I should have waited for Roger Year to aggro him. I guess there's someone little so we're fine. Roger Year, do something. Come on. Wow, you don't want to actually attack him, do you? Okay. There we are. It works for me. Right, Lootle, come in. Might as well do this. Lootle straight on the attack. That's lovely. Wow, has Roger Year got like the aggro ring on or something? He is really, really taking Margit's wrath. Now then, whilst he's distracted, I should show something else, which I completely forgot here. And that is, if you've got uh, Margit's shackle from Patches, we can, in fact, pin him down. I guess we've gone into a second phase. This only works when he's over half health. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to show its effectiveness. Roger has gone. Wow, even Lutl struggles against this guy. I didn't realise that Lutl would uh, take so much damage from him. Nope, don't think so. Little is tanky enough to take a lot of your damage though, isn't he, eh? That was just enough damage, right, to take my, uh... I need to kill you like a mage. Let's not, let's not rape you down. There we go. <laughs> mage mode is fine. So yeah, uh, I used that too late, to be honest. If you get close to him and do it in his first half, it's good. You can only use it up to three times, but realistically speaking, if you've been following the series, this should be... Um, well, just mega easy. And then you can take your pick of what you want to make your second um, talisman slot, because defeating Margit allows us to equip a second one. And looking at these, we have the choice of some physical defense. This will be rather minor, but I guess in comparison to the uh, 10 that we have there, that, that doubling of my physical defense could be pretty major. Um, you can also use something like the Green Turtle Talisman, give yourself some extra um, stamina recovery. Or, um, I think this will actually probably be better for boss fights, some health regen. Um, this would have actually been a little bit useful against Margit in that situation we're in where the bubble got popped. This would have regenerated that little bit of health damage that we took um, and returned us back to um, full HP for the for the damage bonus. So you guys can, can decide the overall best, if you've already got it like we did, it's probably the Urtree's favour. Because, uh, as you can see, it is just a good percentage difference in everything. So if you need more health, stamina, and equip load, it is just very, very handy. Um, and even for a meagre character like mine, this could actually be a good fit. It should, in theory... Oh, no. Why am I medium load? That's because I've got the bow on. Ha! That's why. Can I wear a hood now? I cannot. Even with the Urtree on, I cannot wear a hood. That's a shame. So, it took us four minutes to do that and give you guys a bit of explanation slash recommendation on that. I got one point to use, and I don't really want to use it on endurance, so I'm going to go with... Mind is good. Health could be good. We should be able to get away with health for, through most of Stormvale. So, I'm not too worried. This is still aimed at being an early game, and we've got some pretty good stuff with us, so should not be too big of a problem. Next to them, we have the Grace here. 
You can rest it if you want, it shouldn't really make any difference. Um, but if you just kind of have a little look around, you'll see we've got some loot on this side. I can't actually remember exactly what is where. I do pretty much still remember my way around, so... Um, apologies if some of my memory is a little rusty. I have been through, through here several times, but it has been a few weeks at this point, so... Let's just come on through. Um, if I remember rightly, you can drop off the other side from where the grace was, and I think there's another piece of loot on this bit here, but I can't remember what it is. It's nothing major. I don't think there's any major in this little loop that we're doing now anyway. Um, but it's just so that you guys know that there's some extra loot around here as we as we go around. Through the hole. And then... This sort of takes us back up the stairs. I'm going to check and have a look over there to see if there was loot on that flat bit. I don't think there was. Well, I think there was something, but I don't know how much we need it. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, don't worry about the loot over there. We're going to get that in a second. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk to Gostark. We have a bit of choice here. Um, you can decide whether or not you want to um, follow what he says and go around the corner. Or if you want to um, have him open this gate and go through the front. Going through this way and going through the front is basically suicide. It is very difficult to go at this place from the front, so I'd highly recommend not doing that. So I think, yeah, in, the, in this case, we we could probably get away with it with the Bloodhound step, to be honest. But let's go. Let's go the way that you probably should go realistically. Now, uh, each time you die in Stormvale, just something that you should know. Um, even if you recover your runes, you'll you won't have all of them. Gostock there is going to go ahead and steal some of them each time you die. Um, and if you want to get them back, you'll need to, um, need to kill him. So we're just trying to get as low as we can here, because it can hurt dropping off here, just for this loot. So this is a bit of a, uh, a hidden path. It's not really essential. If I want to keep my damage up, I'm going to have to heal. And no, that's not what I want to do. We need to be careful here, so we're going to have find ourselves... Um, facing off against a new enemy type that we won't have seen to this point, which is these eagles here. And they can be quite troublesome. Look at them, not too evasive, which is rather nice of them. No, you don't. Nope. Ain't having none of that. Um, that move can be pretty difficult to avoid if you're not expecting it, so just kind of have a bit of practice with that. There are quite a few of them. Up here. Let's just throw some rocks out. The rocks have longer range than the uh, than the pebbles do, so we can often get some better range out of it. It's pretty much de uh, deactivated that ambush. That's rather nice. Smithing stone three. Uh, one smithing stone three. That's an interesting stone to get. Plus five. I don't know if we can... So, Smithy Stone 3 should allow us to get to, like, plus seven or eight, I think. It's interesting that they drop you one of those here. So, I, like, I often like to... I'm going to the wrong part of my inventory there. I often like to kind of, you know, base my assumption on when we should go to a place based on, like, the, the stuff that it's dropping. And the hint there is, then, that we should be over plus six. Or we should be at plus six on a weapon. When you come here. It's rather interesting. Especially being as we've done quite a lot of clearance and we are not at plus six. Hmm. Apart from level am I? Not too far. We'll get in a bit. We're on nine minutes. We can keep going. I was thinking we'd end here, but we got here way quicker than I thought we would. It just lets us see the way that you would have come from before, which would have been up there, I think. Yeah, that's where we dropped down. That's the way the ambush came across. And if you hadn't have dropped down, you'd have come from over there. And you'd have had to deal with that one. So you can see kind of both routes there by doing that. I don't need to worry about that one spell. We should be fine to go forward. So now we go along this edge. 
lots of little intricate drop-offs around here. So just be careful. This guy's going to summon help. Um, you can um, be a bit stealthier than I'm being right now. But we should not need that right now. These guys aren't even blocking, which is foolish. Got another one there, so we need to kill this guy quickly. Don't want to be dealing with masses of enemies coming on us. A few enemies here. I guess we could rune arc them. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get both of you. I guess the only disadvantage we have right now is we have no scaling on our weaponry. So this could be kind of tough for us because it's going to force us to get kind of close to this guy. Luckily for us, we're doing real good damage at this for this stage of the game. Claws. Now then, of course, this is an age-old trick from From Software. We ain't having none of that. Excuse me, sirs, that is uh, exceedingly rude. Took off my damage bonus. I need that. So again, you just need to be not doing all of this. If you actually want to drop down there, that'll be bad. So we'll show you both methods for this. Not everybody has easy access to uh, just clearing the barrels out. What is a better idea? Is to come this way. It's supposed to be more, where are you? Hello? I'm sure the fact that I'm quieter is um, betraying me. Usually I'm in like slightly heavier gear right now because I'd usually be playing in uh, in medium mode and that is just not the case I didn't realize that sound was so different in the in the lighter lighter ramas let me use the uh, difference in spawn area for the rock sling to my advantage there and that's how you get around that if you don't want to use something to, to blow those barrels up for yourself right through here No tricky trick is you. Now we are about to get tricked anyway. Do I want that now? We'll get it on the way back out. That's fine. Then... Is there a jump here? No. No, no. It's when we go there. We'll get a new jump. Uh, so we're going to go in here. Our friend Patches is going to have a real laugh at us. So just be careful. Ah, let me lock on. This guy's going to be kind of troublesome, and he closes him. Might even use something a bit quicker than the rocks. Oh, oh, I can't move. <laughs> this guy's able to close distance real well, so just be careful. In fact, Bloodhound Step actually made that possible, basically, there. So just loot this room. Rust the Rusted Key is the most important thing to get in here. I can't remember what's in the chest, though. Ah, there we go. Curved Sword Talisman. Patches is a good bit of fun. I don't know what happened. I wonder if you'd kill him if he still does that. don't actually know. haven't tested it. Uh, that's four in a minute. Where was that other piece that I was talking about? Yeah, just here. So we can get to here. Move it this way. And the key we just got opens this door, which I'm sure anybody that hasn't been here before is like, Hey, the door. We didn't talk about the door. I'm sorry. Right, so. Uh, are we close to the next grace? We are close to the next grace. That's good. This is going to have timed itself pretty well, I think. 
Let me deal with you. Whoops. Oh man, I always forget about these drop-offs here. Oh, I bet it's aggro now. So. <laughs> At least we didn't take too much damage. I love how we're like, th we're, we're like, even at this early stage of the game, we're like three hits from death. It's like crazy. We're gonna really suffer. There we go, right. Jump over this, deal with you. And then we'll go this way. This. Just always paranoid about things like that. So we're going to do the jump trick here, for those that don't know it. Jump, hold down your sprint button. This will mean when you press forward in a second, you'll be already in the sprint animation, making that jump much easier. Uh, this is where we could run into some trouble. I'm just going to make sure... It's going to have to be the pebble, I think. Because it's you. Oh, that went way smoother than I thought it was going to go. Um, yeah, don't worry about... Where is it? That bit, so you see that bit, there's a there's a plant form there and you get all the way around there. We're going to do that after the next grease. I believe it's artery leaves, which is actually something I can consider important now. Uh, I didn't realise the importance of them for quite a while, but they are pretty good. Especially for melee builds, so if you're running something like that, very useful. This should be, oh hammer, I, know, I thought that was shield, hammer. That's going to be everything in here for now. For now. Yeah, so we're back. we'll come back for the artillery leaves. Which will probably be next episode at this point. Because we're on. Yeah, i got three minutes. We've got an ambush. A few outside bits. We've got a, we've got a fairly uh, troublesome night with a halberd to deal with. Right, so here... If I had the intelligence, this is where carrying great sword would be amazing. If you could clip through, you'd be quids in for getting out of his range. Just be careful of that ambush. He likes to try and slit your throat. Sure he does. Now it's our turn. This place looked like it was begging to be an ambush, but it kind of doesn't end up being that way. Kind of interesting. Um, I suppose we could go and get that stuff I was talking about before. I said I was going to wait till the next episode, but we are in the right place for it. It's going to take us a little bit over what I wanted, though. Still with you. You're the biggest troublesome thing here. Now. Nice to see you stagger, though. Yeah, it was much simpler than I ever remember that being. So you just want to walk off this ledge. So you can come over this way. Come off this ledge. Oops. Terry Leaf. Oh my god, no! Okay, take two. I've just collected my runes. It's time for us to get through here without dying. Let's uh, just jump onto the actual safe bit. That's going to be everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now we can re-loop our way around. Also, I re-killed everything so that we uh, shouldn't get slowed down too much on our way back through. Should be as simple as getting on back into this room. Uh, this lift is actually kind of a clue that there's a secret area. You can't lift it until we actually... Um, reach that place that's going to be well definitely next episode at this point uh, and also if you find that that knight that we just fought is giving you trouble you don't need to fight him you can just run on by um as long as obviously you don't let him kill you you can just get into this room here which is where the grace is and you can have a rest which is where we are going to finish now there are lots of spurs in this area this area is um just covered in secrets like a lot of dungeons have secrets in this has the most secrets in my opinion um tons of little areas and it just means that like out of all of the legacy dungeons this one's probably going to have the most episodes 
So I hope you guys will stick with me as we continue going through. And I'll see you all again soon.